All right, guys, want to make a quick video for y'all today. Uh, I've seen a few discussions on kill switches, and I know a lot of people's had problems with the kill switches. I don't like it. any of these slide switches for like a Husqvarna style saw from Farmatech and or Husky switches do it as well. This is one for 288 395 and this is one for a 372 so the way these works kind of just like a knife switch and i'm gonna show you how to pop them apart if they stop working show you how to get them back so all you need a little bit of a little tuning screwdriver that comes with most of your pharma tech saws what you want to do is take a screwdriver in between the gray plastic and the white plastic Drive it down and pop it out. Just like so. Stick it in. Yeah, see how she pops out. And both of these switches are the same. So inside of here, the only thing this does is slide back and forth. This bottom edge here, that is your knife. That's what activates, deactivates the ground <clears throat> for the run and kill position. On your switch here, notice you got this, just this piece, this one segment. This top piece and the knife setup is all one piece. And you can pop them out. They just slide out just like so. Nothing to it. If they pop out, you just slide them back in the little slots. Where the magic happens. is right here so right now in the keel position that switch slides back and lets that spring come down and make contact with ground when you go to the run position switch goes over and lifts up and breaks ground to allow it to run That's all. That's all these switches are. A lot of times, the spring that's in this metal will kind of go out and get stuck up. If it gets bent, then that's what happens when it runs and runs and runs and your switch will not cut it off. It's because this piece has gotten bent just from repeated ups and downs and ups and downs. So all I do is pop this bottom piece off. You can pull this piece out or I just take a screwdriver Trying to do this looking through my phone. I just stick it in and slide it a few times. And kind of press down on it. You can see that opened it up a little bit more there. And push this piece down. Then take your other little piece. And that's the little slots it sets in. There and there. If you forget which way these go in, it'll only go in one way. Yeah, see, that was harder to push in there. Sorry, I got a phone call. Anyway, you can see now how tight she is. 
if you look. On this, you got these two ridges and a flat. If you look here, you got a flat, two little ridges. You just stick it back in. Piece them popped out there. It's hard to do, love trying to look through a camera and do it, but squeeze it back together. And that's all she is. That's all it is to it. Like I said, both of these are the exact same way. It's just that one. The ground hooks to the case instead of it being wire, but both of the knife mechanisms are the same. That's about all you got to do. Thank y'all. Hope that helps somebody.